Saturday is here, and E3 stuff starts tomorrow. What's good, Internet? My name is Attack. So welcome back to my 2K16, my career. Let's play Ebenezer's Revenge. And hearing voices in his head is Randy Orton, who I am fighting on Superstars on today's episode. And uh, thankfully, it is the main event, as it should be. Let us uh, get some moving on that, as it were. Welcome to another fine Saturday where it is nice as hell outside and I'm going to spend it inside playing video games because that's kind of what I do. That's what I do. Um, so there is a handful of tidbits of wrestling news and I'll touch on that here because that's also uh, what I do in this video series, um, first and foremost, it appears that Gawker, you know, the guys who uh, got sued by Hulk Hogan for that sex tape thing, uh, and lost that lawsuit to Hulk Hogan, are apparently now filing for Class 11, which is bankruptcy. Uh, and they are seeking to be sold to a third party so they can pay their debts to the Hulkster, brother. Um, and I found this uh, to be a little bit amusing because apparently the party interested in buying them is none other than Ziff Davis. Uh, and if you're not familiar with Ziff Davis, they've been doing the whole publishing thing with websites and print media for a long time. Uh, and currently they own IGN. Uh, now, they bought IGN from like Fox News, News Corp. Uh, so if they end up buying Gawker, who owns Kotaku, the question is, does does Kotaku survive under Ziff Davis, who is known for, you know, um, consolidating their things in terms of who does what, or does Kotaku get rolled into IGN most, you know, it, it, it wouldn't surprise me to see them all get moved to San Francisco, because kind of everyone's in San Francisco, but... Zip Davis does have a habit of closing down things like, you know, EGM and 1UP and GameSpy and Computer Gaming World, and they've got a pretty bad history of that stuff, so uh, that's kind of my thing, you know, being into video games, is do they shut down Kotaku, uh, who has certainly got a better reputation, you know, in, in the past couple of years than they, than they had years and years back, so that'd be a shame. They have a few good actual you know, quality reporters there, like Schreier and Klepik and whatnot, so, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, but anyway, yeah, victory for the Hulkster if uh, they end up just getting, sh you know, sold and whatever else uh, to pay off the Hulkster's debts, brother. Um, but in other actual, actual wrestling news, uh, we had a NXT debut at a house show in the UK from Bobby Roo apparently showed up uh, and so I, I I would imagine he has cleared you know whatever paperwork or whatnot that he needed to clear to you know debut in a match with NXT so whether or not you see him at tapings soon enough that remains to be seen but as of right now you know I, I guess he's on that brand, so I guess it's it's it's, it's interesting. Uh oh, Randy Orton's getting his comeback. I don't think so, Randy Orton. It's interesting to see just how many TNA rematches you now have on the NXT brand. It's it's kind of amazing, uh, and I can see them certainly treating that talent, or at least paying that talent, better than they were at. Uh, TNA, because come on now. Although I will admit that whatever the hell, whatever the hell Matt Hardy's been doing lately has been amazing. So I keep seeing clips, and it's amazing every time. Uh, so I will certainly give them that. Uh, but that, that is not enough to get me to actually watch TNA. Not that I think I have Pop TV anyway, so there's that. I don't watch SmackDown, uh, so watching TNA, that's a long stretch. Although, obviously, now that SmackDown's going live, that, that certainly may change uh, next month. So, if there are certain guys that I like, 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 look, if they draft 
Cesaro to SmackDown, which I would say certainly is a very high possibility. And the only way I can see Cesaro matches are by watching SmackDown. I'm going to have to watch SmackDown. And perhaps that is what they are counting on with his brand split. But seriously, that's six hours or five hours. I can't count. That is hopefully five hours in two days. And when you count pay-per-views, uh, that's an extra three. And even more for Mania. Uh, that's insane. It's a, lot, it's a lot of time to set aside in anyone's schedule, is what I'm saying. Sorry, Orton. Your signature stomps are not going to get the job done. Oh, crap. He is going to go for that RKO out of nowhere. Uh, that's bad juju. There we go. Back body drop. Come on. I pick him up and he reverses it. It is some... Oh, the Fez Press! He never did a good Fez Press. I didn't really ever like his Fez Press. Now, I have a signature Randy Orton. What do you say about that? Randall Keith Orton. Complete domination here. He's picking him up. No, he reversed it. Shit. I might lose to Randy Orton. And Lawler just said out of nowhere. He said it. It has happened. Who's beeping? The fuck? No, Randy Orton. I don't want to get hit with the RKO. Who's beeping? What the fuck? I'm making a goddamn video, you shitlords. Trying to do some work here. How did I miss that clothesline? Twice. This is garbage. I'm too fat for that, Randy Orton. Fuck off. I have no stamina. So... That's a problem? That is constantly a problem. Just gonna sit here and regain stamina. Wait for Mr. Orton to get back up. And then super kick! Super kick! Eat it, yeah! So yes, uh, E3 press conferences begin tomorrow, and I am certainly very excited about those. I think tomorrow is EA and Bethesda. And then Monday is Microsoft, Ubisoft, and Sony. And then Tuesday morning is Nintendo something. They're not they're not having a direct, they're not having a press conference, they're doing some kind of a live stream of just Zelda and then some Pokemon. Sun and Moon. And then perhaps some other things, uh, third party stuff, but the only Wii U game they are showing is Zelda. They're not showing NX, they're not showing any new stuff. Hey, we got Zelda! And that is going to be the only playable game on the show floor is going to be Zelda, which is insane when you think about it. Uh, and I will certainly have much more to say about that in the coming days, provided that my voice holds up, uh, which is, at this point, seriously a concern. I've got so much crap this week to record on so many different levels, I am seriously concerned about, about my voice not holding up, so stay tuned on that. I got a whole box of hot tea, and uh, we'll see how it plays out. But I guess the big question is, can I beat Randy Orton here? Because it's not going so well. Flash pin! The fruit roll-up! The fruit roll-up! Count it, ref! Slowest ref ever. I made him spend his finisher on the fruit roll-up. On the resiliency. Boom! That is such a devastating, devastating maneuver that it should be a finisher, but he'll probably kick out. He'll probably kick out. Yep, sure did. What am I gonna do? Eat it, Randy. Stop pooping in gym bags, Randy. So yeah, uh, speaking, I guess, speaking of Randy Orton, he should be back soon. I don't know if they have a you know, storyline for him or a feud or something, but uh, he's good to go as far as as far as I know. He is good to go. So why he's not back yet uh, is kind of baffling. Uh, they gotta do they got they gotta do something to combat basketball on Monday. Seriously, um, that is definitely going to be a concern considering how uh, that stuff's going right now. Really? 
Reverse the damn drop kick. Spit in the face. Missed, missed, missed. What? Fireman's carry. You are... Um, I, I don't want to have to make him... Like, he's going to keep using resiliency if I keep letting him get there. And uh, I'm almost at the point where I can hit one more signature and one more finisher. Now I am. Come back. Here we go. Okay. Going to make it happen this time. Gonna make it happen this time. Come back, move. Triangle. Dropping him. And circle for the splash. Ultimate Warrior. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. One. Two. Three. That's how you end a fucking match. That's awesome. Four stars. Finally got the comeback to work, but as I promised, I will change that comeback to the John Cena comeback. Because obviously, eventually... Uh, that is my eventual feud for that U.S. title. Is uh, Obviously, I'm stuck with The Miz right now, so... Next page... Oh, would you look at that! My rank increased again! I am now ranked two above The Miz, and yet I am stuck in this Miz feud until WrestleMania. Ain't that a shame? But man, John Cena, you are in for it. I'm coming for you, face who runs the place. I'm going to punch you right in that face that runs the place. But there are still like three more weeks to Mania in the game. That's unfortunate. How many times am I going to fight the Miz between now and then? I guess we'll find out uh, right here on this channel. But thanks for watching on this uh, somewhat lackadaisical Saturday. Uh, I'm trying to conserve the voice a little bit, as uh, I, I'm hopefully going to record just a shit ton of videos this week uh, about video games, so look forward to that. Uh, go watch uh, Perplexing Pixels if you haven't yet, it's pretty good. Uh, I am bred, and then I'm going to spend the rest of the day playing uh, Mirror's Edge Catalyst for next week's Perplexing Pixels. But, until then, and until next time, and as always... I am your host, Taxlug. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time, right here on this channel. And I'm out.